Do you wish that all things wealth and finance were much easier to understand and not presented by a bunch of beige cardigan-wearing geeks? Welcome to the Clever Investor Podcast, where we're dishing up the easiest-to-understand finance program served in bite-sized chunks, so your brain will thank you as your knowledge grows. Hosted by the brilliant Owen Taylor, a multiple award-winning expert with a glorious knack for explaining the complex world of wealth in the simplest of ways. Hey, Clever Investors, and welcome to another show. This week, let's talk about the downsides of buying an old house or apartment as an investment. Now, I think we all know that investing in real estate is a popular choice for securing our financial futures. And while many people like to buy new property, there's something special about those old ones, those old houses, those lovely big Queenslander properties that we see or maybe those beautiful cottages that they have down in the Melbourne suburbs. They've got character and history and can be pretty appealing. But before you start falling in love with the charming old house, let's take a closer look at the not so great parts of investing in one. First off, there are hidden costs. Old houses, old apartments can have lots and sorts of structural issues. Over time, things like weather and lack of maintenance can cause some big problems. Fixing these issues can be super expensive and time consuming, which isn't great for your wallet or your tenants who may have to deal with the mess over time. Then there's the outdated stuff. Old houses often have old plumbing, wiring, and the heating systems, maybe no air conditioning whatsoever. These things can break down and need expensive upgrades. And speaking of expensive, old houses need more maintenance and renovations to keep them nice. Plus, renovations can be tricky because you have to preserve the house's history sometimes, which limits what you can actually do. Now, let's not forget about safety. Old houses might have hazardous materials like lead paint, or good old-fashioned asbestos, which can be very dangerous and extremely costly to remove and have disposed of. Plus, they're not very energy efficient. So your tenants might end up with much bigger energy bills and maybe when it comes around to renewing the lease, they're going to go and look for something that's a little bit cheaper to actually live in. Another thing to think about is its resale value. Yes, remember, when we're buying an investment property, we need to actually consider what's our exit plan. One day, you're going to sell your investment property. That's where our real wealth is created from the growth of the property in the marketplace. Some people love old houses, but others prefer newer ones with modern features. And that means it might be harder to sell your old house, that old Art Deco apartment into the future, which is then going to affect your profits. So before you jump into buying an old house, it's important to do your homework. Get inspections and estimates from professionals, qualified professionals, Get proper budgets for the repairs and think about the location and future market trends. And remember, old houses aren't the only options for real estate investment. There are plenty of alternatives to consider, especially around new constructions and for some people using commercial properties. So, while old houses have their charms, they also come with a fair share of headaches. But, with careful planning and research, 
you can still make smart investment decisions that are going to suit your ultimate end goals. If you need some help navigating the world of real estate and what you should be doing and how you're doing it, then why don't you tune yourself into one of the many Blue Wealth Properties education events? Go on to the Blue Wealth website, look under the events tab and book yourself into, we've got an upcoming Wealth Through Property event soon as well. As always, do your research, enjoy your time doing it as well. And I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of the Clever Investor Podcast. I'll see you again next week. You have been listening to the Clever Investor Podcast, proudly sponsored this week by Blue Wealth Property. Are you ready to start a new investment journey? Get in touch with the industry leaders, Blue Wealth Property. Blue Wealth have a proven track record in using research to identify growth markets. And Blue Wealth have supported thousands of Australians to buy the right property in the right market at the right time. Go to bluewealth.com.au.